Cheers, I do, Buckaroos. Now, that car, you tell me that ain't pretty to look at. Hey, it's back, man. It's been gone for a couple years, a couple, three years. Who knows exactly? But the power is at B at Springfield Brewing Company brought back probably my personal favorite. Uh, yeah, they, they have done some beer since then that I really like too. Uh, but I, there's just some, something sentimental about this one for me. The Hop Lobster, a hoppy red ale. One thing I do like about it is they don't call it a red IPA, which every other brewery would. It's just, and that's what it is, man. It's a hoppy red. 5'9", 50 IBUs. Perfect balance of rich caramel and toasty malt flavors with a big citrusy hop aroma and bite. Now, I was told today that they have changed the hop slightly since the original run. Uh, exactly what those changes are, I don't know. I, I really wasn't able to pick them out. It's been too long since I've had this. However, it did taste damn fine to me. It almost tastes like the, uh, the malt bill of a Meritzen, and you replace the noble hops with big American or, or uh, citrusy hops, and that's what you got here. Again, I don't know what they're using. I could take a guess, but uh, I, I just love this style, though, because I, I love the big, rich malt up front and then closing closing with, with those hops that clean up any residual sweetness. The nose, the nose, you really feel big citrusy hops like they mentioned. I feel a combination of almost like a, you, you ever have the, those, uh, like, like, like the sweet and dried uh, uh, orange and grapefruit zest. It kind of feels a rind. That's kind of what it feels like here on the nose. I'm getting more orange than grapefruit, though, to be honest. Getting a lot of orange, actually. <laughs> An Amarillo. I don't know if they're using Amarillo, but uh, I'm taking a shot there. But yes, oh gosh, that's awesome. Uh, big, big toasty malts. Uh, I, I actually had one at the brewery a, a little bit ago. Uh, and it was just outstanding. They just had these bottled. Uh, they were bottled on, packaged on 10-2 of 19. So it's about two weeks old as I do this video. But I have, I mean, circumstances in life have kept me out of Springfield Brewing Company for about two months, man. <laughs> so when I had a chance to get out there today, I went. So I had I had one beer out there, and it was it was this one, man. It had been a while. So I had one beer at the brewery. Brought the six pack home. Came home, did a few things. Wife went outside to tend the garden, and I sat down to do the video. That's how things work here at the Mulva Hill House. Anyway, yeah, I digress. Uh, this beer is absolutely gorgeous, man. It, it, the very first video I did for this was kind of a lark. It, it was even before they had the Hop Lobster labels. Uh, I, I played the, the song Rock Lobster behind me. And I had some notes that I, I you know, I showed the cameras and basically done as a silence. So I, I need to find a way to redo, the, redo that video um, I, I need to find a, a dry erase board, actually, just need a small dry erase board, and I'll do that, um, and I'll get I'll, I'll I'll get a copyright strike and <laughs> irritate the powers that be again. And if anybody out there watching happens to know David Byrne, put in a word for me, see if you'll let me use the video or use the song to do the <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Hop Lobster from Springfield Brewing Company. It's absolutely gorgeous, man. If you like a hoppy red, I see no reason why you're not going to like this beer. Uh, in my opinion, um, unless you're talking imperial versions of, you know, in my opinion, 8% or higher, uh, I don't know that there's one on the market better than this. Not in my particular opinion anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's just like they, they say here. I mean, big toasty malts, uh, uh, rich caramel, uh, toasty malts. Yeah, that's what you get. You get that slight hint of sweetness. And then you, you get that, that powerful punch of hops right in the finish, cleaning it all up. So there you go. I am Tom the Beer Whisperer, beer evangelist, political drinker, for beer is the man.
Cheese yeah. Biscuit says good. Man, it loves himself some hop lobster. Cheers, man. I think I forgot to say all around good guy, but you already knew that, didn't you? Cheers. Excuse me. Hope I didn't get any on you.